Hi, this is the second part of the video for two sample taste test for means for a special case where mu1 is greater than mu2, it, I mean a unidirectional t test. I already already find the test statistic t0 and the pooled standard deviation that is 3.48. Let me tell you one thing more that in order to decide about whether you have to opt it for two sample t test for equal variances or for unequal variances, please decide based upon these two variances of the samples. If the largest variance is less than twice of the smallest variance, it means that we will take the t test for equal variances. So in this case, uh, we will. Uh, you can see that 2.54 multiplied by 2, so the 4.41 is less than the result. This is the criteria which we have opted to solve this question, and associated with this criteria, the rejection criteria is t not greater than t alpha comma v, where alpha is a degree of freedom, and the formula for the v is uh, n1 plus n2 minus. I have taken the alpha is equal to 5% or 0 0.05, so v degree of freedom become 8 plus 8 minus 2 is equal to 14. I have to check this value in the t distribution table t 0 0.05 with 14 degrees of freedom. This is the t distribution table in which you can see in the x axis we have alpha values, okay, and in the y axis we have degrees of the freedom. We are interested in 14 degrees of freedom as well as we are interested in 0 0.05. So in the column, if we move towards the row and we will see here that uh, column 0 0.05. So we got 1.716 this value. We will use this value in our analysis. So as per the criteria, 2.65 T0 value is greater than 1.71 rejection criteria. Now we will discuss about interpretation and conclusion. Reject the null hypothesis as the rejection criteria has been satisfied. And in the report in the APA style is as an independent samples t test was used to analyze the data. The result indicate that the mean values are higher for sample one, where m represent the mean and st represent the sample standard deviation. Then sample two, semicolon t14, where 14 is the degree of freedom, is equal to 2.65. 2.65 is the test statistic, comma p less than probability less than 0 0.05 this probability has been calculated by using the software the result indicate that the p value of 0 0.009 less than 0 0.05 is obtained therefore the null hypothesis is rejected and we conclude that the mean value of for h thickness for sample 1 is greater than sample 2 that's all for this test if you have any question, you can ask the question in the comments as well as you can email me or you can WhatsApp me. If you have any question uh, and you have problem in solving that, uh, you, I'm uh, happy to solve it for you in different softwares. Further, a lot of videos have been made on Z-Test, ANOVA, Factorial Designs, Taguchi Response, Surface Methodology and the Survey Data Analysis. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.